what the Bible says, when you resist him, when you keep saying you are resisting, yes. he will eventually flee. Yes. And to flee is to run frightened, sorry, frightful, to run terrorized. So the blood terrorizes the devil. Oh, yes. The blood of Jesus terrorizes the devil. The word flee means he will run away terrified from you. Is somebody want to chase the enemy this morning? Yeah. You want to chase the enemy out of your life? Yeah. There is no sickness that has any right in the life of a child of God. Yeah. No disease has any legal right. I don't care whether it is inherited, transgenerational, it doesn't matter. The blood can go right back to Adam and the blood can go to the future a billion years from now. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. The blood of Jesus. Now watch it. Watch it. When we talk about the blood of Jesus, I need you to understand this mystery. Before I close now, watch it. We are not just talking about a human being born of flesh and blood. Jesus wasn't born of flesh and blood. In other words, Joseph had no business in the life of Jesus. Some of you are scientists here. Go and find out from science. When a woman gets pregnant, how the pregnancy happens, you will discover that the blood of the woman has nothing to do with the pregnancy. So even Mary's pregnancy of Jesus, she didn't play any part in it. Mary was more, I don't want to be very disrespectful here, she was more or less like an envelope. She was more or less like an envelope. When you receive a male, no matter how insignificant the male is to you even, your focus is not the envelope. Your focus is the content of the envelope. I'm yet to find a person who threw away the content and kept the envelope. <laughs> Give me testimony. I receive an envelope. No matter how beautiful the envelope is, the content is the most important thing to you. Yes. Are you listening to me? Mary practically was just a channel through which God came into the earth. Joseph had nothing to do with it. Mary had nothing to do with it. It is the blood of God. Amen. The blood of God. So we're talking about the blood of the Lamb. We're talking about the blood of God. The royal blood. Amen. More royal than the queen. Yeah. More royal than the king. Yes. More royal than the pope. More royal than any pastor, any minister, any billionaire. More royal than anything. Yeah. The blood of God. Gives you an eye victory. Now, now watch it. If the blood of a goat could stop the spirit of death from entering into a house, the blood of an animal, because God spoke it out of his mouth. The moment he spoke it, the blood of the animal was giving power to stop death from entering into the house. Now, if the blood of a goat under the unction of God can stop death, what about the blood of God himself? Hallelujah. What about the blood of God himself? Hallelujah. Friend, you have 100% victory. 100% of the time. 100% of the time. 100% of the time. And they overcame by the blood. So you are going to apply the blood yes. in prayer right now Amen. against that situation. Lord. Against that situation. Not long prayer. You see, you see, one minute, five minutes, ten minutes of consulted faith-based prayer yes. is more effective than one hour of repeated jargons without faith. Yes. Are you with me, friends? Yes. Are you with me? You are going to declare the blood. Not long prayer. You, you call that thing by name. 
I smite you with the blood. I smite you with the blood of Jesus. I release the blood upon you. I release the blood of Jesus. The blood you just repeated. Ah! Let's see the devil. That will resist the blood. Is that devil in existence? Come on. Is that devil in existence? It's non existent. No matter where they hide themselves, they are going to be smoked out by the blood. They will be located 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 by the blood. Are you listening to me? They pass over. Jesus moved it forward. On the day of his betrayer, he called Peter, the disciples, go and prepare for me. Cut the long story short. They took bread, they took wine, they brought it to Jesus. 